morning. It is, um, what is it? Tuesday. It is Tuesday the 21st of April. April. Lily is actually supposed to be doing maths, but she's currently jumped into Phoebe's English lesson because as part of her English lesson, they're looking at following and writing instructions and they had to follow a set of instructions to make salt dough. So they are both currently very busy cutting out some shapes so that they I can paint them. I made a butterfly. <laughs> oh, we need to find somewhere for you to put them to dry. I'll come back. Right, a tray and some greaseproof paper has been found. So they're now quickly making their shapes. It will take about, do what does the instructions one. say? Let's have a look. Um, it takes about, um, or oh, it takes a couple of days. Oh, I've gone all dark. Let's move around here. It takes a couple of days if you leave it just to air dry or you can put them in the oven on the lowest heat for three hours until they're rock hard. So I might, I might try that might, so that they can paint them later. Uh, you can paint them and then you can seal them with varnish or sealer to preserve it such as PVA and water, a varnish or mudge budge. And if you want to make it yourself, um, I shall show you the instructions now. So it's really, really simple. I'm sure you all know how to do it, but I shall show you the instructions just in case you want to try it yourself. So we've done our Joe Wicks today. Uh, it's currently about 10 to 11. Lily is gonna have to work a little bit extra because she took a break from her maths lesson to do this. <laughs> you will. Um, and then we'll be on a little break soon. Dan's upstairs, he's got another interview today. So we've got everything crossed for that. He didn't get the other one. Um, and it's a sunny day, there's washing on the line. Um, we've got the schooling and working um, balance seems to be working quite well the last couple of days. So fingers crossed for that. Let's go and crack on with the salt dough. mad old day and we're about to go for our walk and it's 20 past four so it's a bit later than we would normally be going but um we were just running late with everything today schoolwork seemed to take longer i was working a bit longer and it's been another really successful organized and productive day we're about to go for our walk and i didn't want to forget to announce the winners of the melting rainbow cow so um lovely anne of thistle glen designs donated well she gave me a copy of this pattern and i'm thrilled to bits it's so lovely um and she also gave two copies to give away to viewers of these vlogs or this channel and i talked about it i think on friday and said i would draw a winner 
um, on Monday, which I did, I did it last night, and I would announce it on Tuesday, which I am now doing. So the two winners, I used the comment, the comment picker website and put in the term melting rainbow so I could pick out everyone that had used that in the comments. Uh, and the two winners both left me such lovely, lovely comments. And it was really nice um, to read them again when their names came up. So it's Carolyn Black and Mada B. You are the two winners of the Melting Rainbow Cow. So if you could both get in touch with me uh, and let me know your Ravelry name. Um, and if you could do that by either messaging me on Instagram, where I'm Starry Eyes Alley, or sending me a message on Ravelry, where I'm Starry Eyes Alley, or you can email me and my email address is underneath um, this video. And um, if you want to remember what the cow looks like, I shall move the video over here. And I will put a picture up here so you can all see what it looks like um, because it really is a, a really pretty cow. And how apt that it's a rainbow, Phoebe, when we're seeing so many rainbows. And do you know that it's quarantine you have to FaceTime your friends? Yes. This is my, now my wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, she's got to <laughs> FaceTime of her best friend. But also there was something else on my list for my vlog today. I've got two more things. One I'll talk about later. And the other one, Phoebe, was Phoebe's joke. So Phoebe, you made up a joke and I said you have to tell that joke on the vlog. So take it away, Phoebe. <coughs> <laughs> what is the similarity between a lizard and an elephant? I don't know. What's the similarity between a lizard and an elephant? They're both green except for the elephant. <laughs> today <laughs> and we're at the side of the well. heath that's right next to the motorway so you can hear the A2 because it's just there. 